on the plate. Jamaica Food and Drink Festival kicking off its four-day feast with Jamaica's favorite guilty pleasure, no bones spared. How it works is that you're asked to showcase, then you're provided with product, then you're provided with a stipend. You bring your flavor and you bring your artistry to it and you just make it happen. Copperwood Port Palooza, another confirmation of folks feeling free to mingle and indulge to their heart's content after you know what. I think so, and I'm happy to see it. <laughs> Whose brand, Worthy Park, offering liquid relief? I love to boast that Worthy Park is one 100% authentic Jamaican rum. Fully 100% Jamaican owned and operated. Ouch, as opposed to, anyway, what was I about to say? Yes, but the focus on the food. Here we have the coffee marinated pork with a red striped cilantro slaw. I really like rock hotel. It was good, spicy, and the vegetable that they put on the top was really good. And I like national. They kept it simple and you could taste the pork. We have a smoked barbecue pork ribs here. We have a cornbread and a simple American salad. The pork is steamed, then smoked on over charcoal, and then finished on a gas grill. Is it Johnny Walk? I think that's the, that's the tent. He has done amazing ribs and corn and coleslaw. Very, very simple, but so delicious. Pork over charcoal, the sheriff's specialty, a cut above. OK, it's crispy pork belly with the herb roasted breadfruit. You have to use the Cuban box over there, which keeps it moist and keeps the crispy crackling going because of the temperature. You have to get to 600 degrees. And with the white rum and the salt and the lime juice, you know, that type of, you know, mojito style, it works good. Works good for them. How much pork can you eat in one night? I feel like I can have about six plates. <laughs> I have not tested my limits, but I'm gonna say a lot. <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> My dad is Chinese, so probably a lot. <laughs> I reached my pork limit pretty fast. True Port Palooza troopers making short work of most, if not everything, on offer. I brought a West meets East style pork with a with a catch to mind is I did a watermelon skin pickle with breadfruit to stone it tonight. What do you have to do to pork to make sure that you get it right? For me, I have to brine my meat first. So I brine my meat for 24 hours before doing anything to it, so I retain the juices. I did a coconut jerk pork pasta with some garlic fried plant chips. So what we did was we, we slow roast the pork I don't put the jerk seeds, don't put the Jamaican in it to get that flavor. So a lot of persons since night, they said that you're reminding them grandmother. What's your big pork tip? Season the pork properly. I put a little pepper, Jamaican in it, because you want the pork to taste flavorful, especially overnight. This um, pork dish that we have is a sous vide pork tenderloin. Sous vide is basically um, meat that is cooked in a water bath and then we um, pretty much sear it and finish it off on the grill. So um, I have a brand called um, Create Sweet Scotch Bonnet, so that is the sauce that we're pairing it with. Awesome, very awesome. So tell me, what's your big pork tip? Never overcook pork and always serve it hot. Obviously you're a rasta yes. and you're serving pork tonight. <laughs> well, it was a part of my diet before, you know, I transitioned, but the, the, the knowledge and the love for cooking and pork is still there, but not in the diet, you know? But we're preparing it for others. But it doesn't bother you preparing no, it? No, definitely not, definitely not. So I want to please persons and let them see the best that we can do, you know? With this meat as a rasta. We've got some jerk pork belly bows. They're extremely delicious. I mean, the, the, the recipe itself took me about 16 days to master to get it perfect. And ever since then, we've actually um, launched them on our happy hour menu. So it's actually called our after work menu. So what's your big pork tip? Oh, my big, big major pork tip is fat, you know? Get it fatty. We love fat on our ladies, you know? So fat is just the way to go, you know? I think I really like the bows from OMG restaurant. That was probably my favorite for the night. Okay, so tonight we did a crispy coconut rice, uh, red cabbage slaw, and then we had slow cooked pork belly. So we cooked the pork belly for like for about five hours. Then we coated it in sugar and salt, and then we used a torch to burn that on it. So it had that same effect like a creme brulee. 
with a little saltiness to it. So there is a exceptional pork belly from Copperwood. There's noodles, I don't remember, but there's noodles. It's Excellent really good. Catering. Yes, really, really good. Yeah, a lot of people in Jamaica that don't eat pork for no, like, it's not religious, it's not, and it, they just don't eat pork. You know, and people should try. We have sustainable industries here in Jamaica that if we don't consume it, what are we going to do? Amen. That's JFDF Night One. More to come and Christmas still ahead. I mean, people have to eat. So, I mean, just save and buy. Um, I feel like people have been this way for a while now. Obviously, everyone was, you know, suffocated being inside. But it's great to see an, an, an event like this, right? Everybody is out, everybody's enjoying themselves. The food is amazing. I think it bodes well for, for future events.